Hello and welcome back to SMT Motorsport. My name is Stuart and today we are going to make rear towing uh, brackets. So let's get to it and I'll show you what's going on. Oh, so this is a kit I'm going to be selling. This will fit the E36s and the E46. Um, this is just to adjust the rear tow. Uh, it's pretty much, you get one of these brackets. This is the 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 standard one. Um, so we are basically we've opened up the holes so we've got more travel and instead of the bush sitting in here you know we've put this closer together so yeah uh, this is a project with me and Calum Hayes Fabrication uh, so you can buy these on well I'll probably have them on all platforms uh, Facebook Instagram and I'll probably try and get them on YouTube as well on a shop and um, so yeah first job is buy the kit Second job is, I've got this one already cleaned up, ready to go. Um, pretty much these ones just come with a coating on them, just to stop them rusting if they're sitting for a while. Um, so yeah, you just have to take a grinder to it and clean it all off. And then we're pretty much ready to get going. Okay, so the tools you'll need is a grinder with a flappy disc on it. You'll also need, I've got a 90 degree um, magnet. So ooh, this is just for taking these brackets and you stick them on there and now you've got a nice 90 degree. You'll also need a set of burn air calipers. Um, these ones are quite good because you can actually lock it onto where you want it to be. So I've got it set at 51 just now. Um, the other main tool you need is a welder. So yeah, let's uh, show you the process of how this goes together. Okay, so here we go. We've got the first plate here. So we'll take our magnet. Set it up on here, line it up, like so, something like that. Just make sure you're nice dead down the straight, down here, like that. And you've got the edges to line up as well. So now we're ready to weld on the back side. I'm just going to do a tack here and a tack down here. I'm also going to take this plate here and just put it under here, just to keep it level. This is four mil uh, steel. So we've got that nice and lined up there. Let's push down. Let's turn the welder on. Now the settings I have for this welder, it's a Clark uh, MIG-135. TE Turbo, uh, you can see them on eBay and stuff, I think they're like £350 for them and it's a gas one. Uh, I've got it set just now, uh, wire speed is 7.5 and, and uh, basically the, the heat setting or whatever you want to call it, there's different ways I guess of calling it, but I've got it set at 2 and it's minimum, so that's kind of how hot it'll get I suppose. So yeah, let's tack this on. Now you could also take this if you want, it's up to yourself. You'll probably get less splatter if you do that. And if you, you can also like stick weld it if you want, this is the MIG. You can stick weld it if you want, but it'll just be a bit more splatter. It still works, but you know, a bit more splatter and you might have a bigger uh, bead when you're laying it. So yeah, just whatever you prefer. There's not a wrong way to do it as long as it's together. Okay, that's the first piece. Now, on to this side. So, exactly the same, line it up. Get your plate underneath on the back of it. Like so. it's pushed down okay now we'll use the vernier caliper set to 51 depending on uh, your bush I've got power flex black and they are pretty much 50 to 51 so I'm gonna set it at 51 so we'll nudge this in a bit 
so that it touches. And I'll just tack this one side and then I'll move the other side. Like so. Now this side. Push it in a bit. So it's tight. Like so. Also check from the top, from the top, nice and tight. tack that. Okay, now we'll take this piece here. Now this piece should just, you know, it should just slide in there. These are pretty much. I've made these for basically my setup because that's the only one I can test on. But the normal bushes are the same width as well. So if you've got standard or you've got power flex, then this should work. But if you're buying, you know, as unwelded, then you know, happy days. You choose your bush could be bigger, it could be smaller, whatever you want. So I'm gonna set this one out. Hopefully you can see that. Instead of setting it in like that, I'm just going to set it out so I can get a nice bead down the, the, the side there. I'll use this again. Push it down. Like that. I'm just going to do a tack on one side. Back on this side. And now we can do this side. Ah, let's get off. Okay, so that's it pretty much tacked up. Um, yeah, so this is just a, it's a ruined bolt from, you know, bolting onto the car. So what we don't want to do is, you know, weld where this sits. Um, same with here as well. We'll just uh, leave a bit of a gap here um, and then we'll just weld it the whole way along there. Same up here, we'll just uh, weld it along here and along here and we'll leave the gap here for this to move gives you the most adjustment so yeah let's uh, get welding i'm just going to put this in here while i weld so i know where to stop So there we go, I've just left room for, for this one to move in here and we'll do the same for here, we don't want to go too close in there, Whoop. stay. Then we can go with a full pass along here, nothing in the way. There we 
we go. Lovely well that one. We can still get the bolt. Yes, still get the bolt through there. Ow. Now here we can't weld in the middle. Now we will leave that to cool, we will have another mount, uh, old mount cider and wait for that to cool down and we will put in the sandblaster, give it a blast and then give it a little paint and then it is ready for Neil Young, pretty much. Oh, I need to make one more but you know, happy days. That's how you make the rear uh, adjustable toe plates, uh, got way more. Uh, adjustment than normal and um, the other thing that I'm looking at doing is instead of using the original bolt that comes with it because uh, the head and the, the nut are quite big uh, I'll probably be selling the button head uh, bolts at the right length and also a little bit of a slimmer nut and you'll get even more moving up there as well so so yeah that's that's how you do it easy enough give it a look of paint put on the car Loads of toe. If you like this video and you like the product, give it a thumbs up and uh, share the video around. Uh, that would be much appreciated. Cheers. I'll be selling these uh, toe plates here for £50. Uh, just flat pack, put in an envelope and then that will be postage on top for, uh, for you guys buying them. Uh, I can weld them for you as well, but obviously depending on your bushes and stuff, uh, the measurement of how thick it is. I can easily weld them up and they'll be 70 pounds uh, but they won't be painted they'll just go in the post and go but your postage will be more because now it's a much bigger uh, product now instead of being flat pack, flat packed so yeah just uh, message me on Instagram Facebook or um, yeah that's pretty much all I've got I, I've got I've got a snapchat but I don't really use it um, so yeah just message me on there cheers bye